Good evening, beloved to Christ. Christ is risen. Earlier today, I led a reflection for a group of youth. Um, we were meeting, of course, over Zoom for what's now going to be some regular meetings on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, in the afternoons, um, just to talk about some things spiritual and to have a just a little time of fellowship, a time to kind of get together. And I was asked to speak on the myrrh bearers. This coming Sunday, of course, is the Sunday of the myrrh bearers, where we commemorate um, the women uh, and, of course, uh, also a couple of men uh, who went to anoint the body of Christ uh, after he had been in the tomb, of course, for the three days. Um, and it occurred to me as I'm thinking about it, um, basically the setting for what's about to take place. We sing about this every Sunday uh, in a special set of hymns during Matins called the Avlogataria. The myrrh-bearing women mourned as they bore spices. They drew near to the tomb, but instead they saw an angel. And he asked them, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the dead. Um, it's a powerful phrase, of course. And I think what's taking place here is in a place of sorrow and grief. The first people who bore witness to the awesomeness that God would work were the people who, in the midst of that sorrow and grief, grief um, did a work of kindness. They did charity. If we want to put ourselves in a position where we can behold the miracles of God, I think this serves as something of a template for us. We ought to mourn with those who mourn, and we ought to confront realities as we experience them, not to shirk from them. God never needs us to be deluded about the hardships of this life or in denial about the fact that he can ask us to endure some pretty difficult things. But as we're present in those realities, if we continue and we persist in kindness and mercy, in that very central tenet of the gospel, which is grace, that may very well be the place where he meets us with a miracle. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Christ is risen.